Who doesn't love hydrangeas? I love them in the garden and I love them in the house. Just look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, there's some tips to get them to last longer inside the house. And my friend Jay Schwanke, he's the best and he'll let you in on his secrets. So here's some great tips for cutting hydrangeas. Always cut your hydrangeas early in the morning. As soon as the sun comes up, or just before, at that point in time, our hydrangeas are all fully hydrated. The next thing I like to do is take a bucket with me to the garden, so that when I'm cutting them, I can drop them immediately into water. Then, we get back into where we're gonna process them. So here, our hydrangea stems. I clip them off the bush using the snippers. But what I want to do is, you'll notice that when I stick that in the vase, that bottom of the stem sits right on the bottom of the vase. So it's far better to cut my hydrangeas at an angle with a sharp knife. So that they're at a 45 degree angle, so that when they're sitting in the vase, the water can still travel up the stem. Now here's another great trick. We can add ice to our water. I know conventionally, we think about the fact that warm water would be better, but actually, ice water helps our hydrangeas stay more turgid and produces less bacteria. Now finally, one more trick, is when you cut your stem, you can dip it into powdered alum, that pickling spice, it's perfect, and then place it into the ice cold water. What that does is it causes the vascular system to tighten up and it helps our hydrangeas remain turgid. Those are five great tricks for you to have perfect, beautiful hydrangeas every time.